Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I'm Aaron Birch of AaronBirch.info and I'm going to shoot this video. I know it's going to be a little controversial. I know a few people are going to be, you know, pissed off, get their knickers in a knot, whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. So, I mean, I have an opinion about this and I want to share it because, oh my God, this can stop people in their tracks from growing their business. And, you know, this situation, if you've been in network marketing, you've probably experienced this or know somebody who's experienced this. And a lot of people have no idea how to handle this, right? So, I mean, we're going to get into talking about etiquette, really. So, here's the thing. This just came up and I thought, oh my God, this is a great subject because most of us can relate to this. So, here you go. What do you do? When you decide the company you are working with is no longer a good fit for you, so you leave that company. It happens all the time. They say the, you know, the most network marketers change companies like eight times. So there's many reasons people do it. It's not, I'm not saying it's because the company is bad or anything. There are many personal reasons people look for something different. So you change companies. You find something else, and then your past uplines go, don't you dare talk to people in here about your new business opportunity, right? So what do you do? What do you do? What, what are the rules? What is the etiquette? I don't really know what the rules are, but here's my opinion on this. Hey, guys. Hey, Tequila. Hey, Tracy, how's it going? Hey, sure. there. Hey, Sherry. <laughs> anyway, um, here's my opinion on this. Okay. Let's talk about attraction marketing. Attraction marketing is when you don't target people, but you attract them to you, right? So if you're using attraction marketing, which is a beautiful thing, you don't have to even approach those people. Don't even think about it because speaking, you know, etiquette wise, it's not really a good thing to go after these people who are, Still in the company with other people, what have you. But what you can do, and which is only fair, really, is, okay, attraction marketing. You're promoting yourself. You are promoting, you know, your new fabulous business opportunity because you love it. You're sharing your life, right? Your business opportunity, part of your business, is a part of your life. So you're simply sharing what you have and sharing value and if people come to you to ask what you're now doing, it's your right to simply share what you're doing, right? If they come to you, why would you, what are you to do? Go, oh, no, I don't have a business opportunity. That would be ridiculous. They came to you for information. You share what you're doing, and the ball is in that person's court, right? You've done nothing wrong. That is the definition of attraction marketing. So if this happens to you and people come to you asking you what you are now doing and you share and your old upline has an issue with it, all you have to say is they came to me. They came to me. That is the whole entire purpose of attraction marketing, having people come to you. So I hope that helps you guys out. Hey, Megan, how's it going? I mean, this has probably happened to a lot of people, and if it hasn't happened to you, it's happened to somebody you know. So go ahead and comment, like, and share if you think this is going to help people. Um, yeah, there, there, there's rules. There's etiquette and all of that, but come on. If people come to you, what are you supposed to do, right? Pretend you don't have a new business opportunity? No, that would be ridiculous. They're asking for information. It's okay to share. It's a completely different thing if you are kind of targeting people in the company that you've left. But if they come to you, it's a whole different ballgame. So I hope that makes sense. Hey, Alan, how's it going? Hey, Teresa. So I hope that makes sense. I mean, it makes all the sense in the world to me personally. Um, yeah. This is all a part of traction marketing, right? And this is when you start attracting people to you, it completely changes 
the game. It completely changes your business. Your business will absolutely explode when you know how to attract people to you without you having to go after them and say, hey, do you want to check out my business opportunity? Right? Having people come to you is a beautiful thing. It's a whole different thing. So if you want to know how to do that, hit me up. I am happy to share with you how you can start doing that really, really quickly. I just launched a course, actually, which is on rapport building, prospecting, closing, something I absolutely love to teach. And this kind of stuff is also included in my course. How to get people to ask you for information about your products and your business opportunity so that you are not chasing people. You're not bugging friends and family. You don't have to bug people in your old company. You're going to attract interested people to you. It is a beautiful thing when you know how to do that. I've brought in over 400 people in the last two years into my business by doing exactly this. Right? My current uh, network marketing company, I brought in 65 people in my first eight weeks by doing exactly this. So I'm telling you, this works and it works well and it's a wonderful way to, to run your business because you're not the used car salesman, right? You're not, you don't feel sleazy targeting people and all that. You're simply providing value and attracting them to you. But there are some other tricks. I have some other tricks up myself, not really tricks. It's more psychological tips, let's say. And I have all this included in my course. If you want information on that, just hit me up and you can check it out. And um, I'm hoping to help a whole ton of people because Let's face it, this is where people struggle with most when growing a business online, is they don't know how to transition to talking about business. They don't know how to attract people to them. Then they don't know how to build that rapport and transition to talking about business and then get the sale or the sign up. And if you can't do those things, your business does not grow, right? So anyway, if you want to check out my course, just hit me up and I'm happy to share with it. You can check out the information, see if it's something that interests you. If you want to become a master at rapport building, prospect, and closing, it just might be. Then you can really watch your business take off. So anyway, you guys, that's it for me. If you got some value from this video, if you know of anybody who's going through this with, you know, their past company or people giving them shit, warning them, don't come after my people, don't come after my people kind of thing, then go ahead and share. You know, it's, it's valuable information because you don't want this to – paralyze you what happens when you don't really know what the rules are kind of thing you become so paralyzed and you're like great who do I talk to am I allowed to talk to anybody oh my god how am I gonna grow my business that's a crappy place to be so anyway go ahead and share this video if you know of anybody who could you know benefit from hearing that message awesome you guys have a fabulous evening and I will see you tomorrow hey Robin how's it going hey Marie Eve how are you hey Crystal I will see you next week Crystal Right? Looking forward to it. Bye, guys.